All right, so in our uh, second question, we talked about what a reflection is. So um, we're going now going to talk about what a translation is. So the translation is the movement of a object from one place to another. And in this case, when we're talking about Cartesian coordinates or rectangular coordinates, we're moving the vertices of a certain shape or object um, from one uh, location to another, so from one coordinate to another. Okay, uh, so this could be in the direction of the x-axis, it can be in the direction of the y-axis, uh, it can be in the direction of a line, it can be a direction of a parabola per se, uh, it can be in direction of anything, but that's what our translation is. Okay, <coughs> so let's label our axes here and we'll show you an example of our translation is. So I'm also going to describe what the junior tutor wrote to. So the translation means moving all points of an object to a certain distance, all in the same direction. The object is not altered in any way. And what they mean by altered is it's not rotated. So rotating means that we're taking the uh, point of the object and rotating it in the clockwise or counterclockwise direction. Reflected means that we're not reflecting it across an axis or a line. And resize means that we're not minimizing it or maximizing it. Okay. So let's use an example, okay? So first of all, uh, I'm not going to use what the junior tutor wrote, but I'm going to describe his example later. I'm just going to use a simple example of a point. Okay, so we have a point here, one and one. Okay, so if we were to say we're going to translate this three units in the positive x direction, then, right, so let's do three units in the positive x, okay? So we're moving it three units to the positive x, we're moving it to from x equals one to x equals four. So x equals four is like here, and this is where we'll move it, okay? So we're moving it this way. All right, let's do a second example. What if we wanted to move it four units and the negative y direction. So this is the positive y direction and this is the negative y direction. So we're moving it four units down. We're going to move it to negative three. Okay, so we'll have negative three around here. Oops, sorry. So it would be right here. And we'll have arrow pointing it four units down into the negative y direction. Finally, let's say that we want to move it two units in negative x and three units positive y. <coughs> okay? So if that were the case, then we would move it two units in the negative x, so we would move it to negative two, which is like here. Oh, that's way too far. Uh, like here. It's so negative two, and we'll move it three units up, which is four. Okay. Uh, so four will be like here. And we'll move. We're moving it in a line. Oh, whoa, that's bad. <laughs> we're moving it in a line. Okay. So that's what it means by moving it in different, translating it in different directions. Okay, so I'll give you guys a general formula. So um, if we're moving it in the positive x direction, then we're altering the x coordinate, right? So um, here, we're going to take our points x and y. So let's say that we're moving it three units in the positive x, then we're moving it x plus 3, y. Okay? If we're moving it four units down, if we have a point x and y, then it'll be x, y minus 4. And finally, if we're moving it in both x and y direction, then we have to alter both x and y coordinate, and we'll get, in this case, x minus 2, and um, y plus 3. 
And I noticed that I did something wrong. I consider this to be zero. This should be negative one here. So that's my bad. This should be moved. Right here. Okay. All right. So let's cover what the junior tutor wrote. So they used the triangles instead. And they also outlined what our pre-image is, which is the original image compared to the image, which is after the transformation. So now they have an object here, which is a triangle, with three vertices. So all of these vertices have to be moved, right? So they use a general formula that we provided here, but instead they moved it three units in the negative x and nine units in the negative y. So the conversion or the translation will be x minus 3 and y minus 9. So each of these points, 3, 4, 7, 7, 8, and 1, will all have to be applied to this now different formula, a apostrophe or a prime. And th that, that gives them the new vertices of their new image. Okay? So the general tool or the general solution for any of these translations is by recognizing what direction you have to move it in and then applying a general trans translation first and then uh, substituting your coordinates in to find your new vertices. Okay? So this description and definition is correct. Good work. Cool. All right, let's move along.